What does it mean to be lost? To be lost is to be cut off from God. Man cast out from God's favorable presence in Genesis chapter 3. To live alienated from God, Colossians 1.21. Separated from Christ, Ephesians 2.12. Cut off from God and condemned by God. Romans 5.12 says from that one sin came condemnation for all men. Romans 5.18, one trespass led to condemnation for everybody. In our sinfulness, we are cut off from God, condemned by God, enemies of God. Romans 5.10, friends of the world with enmity toward God. James chapter 4, verse 4. In our lostness, we are slaves to sin. John 8, 34, Jesus says, Truly, truly, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave to sin. Romans 6, 11 says we are slaves to sin and impurity and lawlessness. We are slaves to sin and dominated by Satan. 2 Timothy 2, 26 says we are caught in the snare of the evil one who has captured us to do his will. 1 John 5, 19 says, we live in the world that lies in the power of the evil one. We are children of wrath. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 3. Lovers of darkness. We hate the light. John 3, 20. Ephesians 4, 18 says, we are darkened in our understanding. And it affects All of us, every facet of our being permeated with lostness. Our minds are blinded. Romans 1.21 says, We claim to be wise, but we are fools, exchanging the glory of the immortal God for images made to look like mortal man and birds and animals and reptiles. Verse 28 says, God has given sinful man over to a depraved mind. 2 Corinthians 4.4 4 says the God of this world, little g, God of this world, has blinded the minds of unbelievers. So in our lostness, we can't see. Our minds are blinded. Our emotions disordered. Romans 1.26 says God has given us over to our sinful hearts. 1 Peter 2.11 says the sinful passions of our flesh war against our souls. Our minds blinded, our emotions disordered, our bodies defiled. Romans 124 says God has given us over to sexual impurity for the degrading of our bodies of one another. Romans 3, there is no one righteous, not even one, no one who understands, no one who seeks God. All have turned away. They have together become worthless. There is no one who does good, not even one. Our throats are open graves. Our tongues practice deceit. The poison of vipers is on our lips. Our mouths are full of cursing and bitterness. Ruin and misery mark our ways. In the way of peace we do not No, there is no fear of God before our eyes. We are morally evil. Genesis 8 21 says, Every inclination of man's heart is evil from childhood. Spiritually sick, Jesus says in Matthew chapter 19, verse 12. And we are continually perishing. 2 Thessalonians 2.9, 1 Corinthians 1.18, 2 Corinthians 4.3. Do we see this? Our problem is not just that we've made some bad decisions. Our problem is not just that we've messed up. Our problem is that we are at the core sinfully lost cut off from God, condemned by God, and consequently, destined for hell. Our sin before an infinitely holy God warrants Infinitely horrifying just judgment. This is the truth of all scripture. Scottish professor James Denny said, amongst all of scripture we see this one truth. That those who refuse to submit to the gospel and love and obey Jesus Christ will incur at the last advent 
an infinite and irreparable loss 